you feel like the whole, you know, the whole justice, juvenile justice system is fair? And if it's fair, why are there certain youths that come out worse than they did before? I, I saw a lot of unfairness and injustices. Um, one example, and both of these kids were at Castro on Halloween, uh, gay bashing. It was a hate crime. Whatever happens, the court case is going to continue. Well, they ended up releasing the white kid, and I saw, I saw a broken system unfair treatment between black kid and a white kid. And you ask me if there's a race targeted. You know, why, do, why do certain youth come out worse than they have before? Than they have before? It has to do with, um, so there's no, and we talked about it earlier, not the juvenile hall. Um, at least for San Francisco and um, in areas like Santa Cruz, they have they started implementing a lot of a lot of good services. Like their education has gotten better. Um, they, they were... The Eighth Amendment is part of the United States Constitution. It prohibits the federal government from imposing excessive bail, excessive fines, or cruel and unusual punishment. The Eighth Amendment means that no American citizen shall have to experience any cruel and unusual punishment due to the crime committed. Punishment should only escalate if the crime committed was at high severity, but in any case prisoners should not be tortured. and the president was established in court was juveniles have the right to notice and counsel to question witness and protection against themselves incrimination in other words juveniles are entitled to many of the same rights as adults